Hello, are you growing tired of being stuck at home? Well, here's a look into the past, and I hope you'll gain a whole new appreciation of these special times. The book I'd like to share is When I Was Young in the Mountains by Cynthia Ryland and illustrated by Diane Good. This is for my grandparents, Elda and Farrell Ryland. When I was young in the mountains, grandfather came home in the evening, covered with the black dust of a coal mine. Only his lips were clean, and he used them to kiss the top of my head. When I was young in the mountains, grandmother spread the table with hot cornbread, pinto beans, and fried okra. Later, in the middle of the night, she walked through the grass with me to the Johnny house and held my hand in the dark. I promised never to eat more than one serving of okra again. When I was young in the mountains, we walked through the cow pasture and through the woods, carrying our towels. The swimming hole was dark and muddy, and we sometimes saw snakes, but we jumped in anyway. On our way home, we stopped at Mr. Crawford's for a mound of white butter. Mr. Crawford and Mrs. Crawford looked alike and always smelled of sweet milk. When I was young in the mountains, we pumped pails of water from the well at the bottom of the hill and heated the water to fill round tin tubs for our baths. Don't you love these pictures? Afterward, we stood in front of the old black stove, shivering and giggling, while Grandmother heated cocoa on top. When I was young in the mountains, we went to church and the schoolhouse on Sundays, and sometimes we walked with the congregation through the cow pasture to the dark swimming hole for baptisms. My cousin Peter was laid back into the water and his white shirt stuck to him and my grandmother cried. When I was young in the mountains, we listened to frogs sing at dusk and awoke to cowbells outside our windows. Sometimes a black snake came in the yard and my grandmother would threaten it with a hoe. If he did not leave, she used the hoe to kill it. Four of us once draped a very long snake, dead, of course, across our necks for a photograph. When I was young in the mountains, we sat on the porch swing in the evenings, and Grandfather sharpened my pencils with his pocket knife. Grandmother sometimes shelled beans and sometimes braided my hair. The dogs lay around us, and the stars sparkled in the sky. A Bob White whistled in the forest. Bob, Bob, Bob White? When I was young in the mountains, I never wanted to go to the ocean, and I never wanted to go to the desert. I never wanted to go anywhere else in the world for I was in the mountains, and that was always enough. I hope you come to appreciate the way in which people are going to great extent 
to try and help you adjust to these difficult times and help you feel loved from the top of your head to the tip of your toes. Have a good day.